Some consumer-related names in the spotlight today. Let's begin with Uber, up sharply in the pre-market after this surprise profit and issuing some pretty upbeat guidance. Uh, gross bookings up 19 amid the easing pandemic. Uh, 2.1 billion trips, Jim. Uh, and, and they guide above on bookings uh, and adjusted. This was even. the quarter. Remember, it came public around 45. This was the quarter. This was the breakout quarter. It was even the freight business, which I've loved. I've been waiting for CETA to do well. Freight was up one point, uh, did 1.5 billion, up 43 percent. This was the strongest quarter. Uh, the, one, by the way, this is one of those releases. Uh, Dara Costasari did an amazing job, but he was right to signal all the things that are working well because they have even they're going to have one billion dollar in ad revenue next year. This year, 2021, uh, gross bookings up 26 percent. Wow. This was, I mean, the stock, this is one of those where the stock's only up to. The stock's going to be up to, it's going to go to 40 today. I mean, this was a remarkable quarter. A clean, good beat. Yep. Uh, talked about uh, getting um, uh, Gap operating positive. Yes. In, the, in due course is what he said with Andrew Ross Sorkin earlier on Squawk. Take a listen. We are seeing menu inflation. Uh, in our eats business, and we've seen a little bit of the number of orders in a basket come down. So maybe people are ordering a little bit less in response to menu inflation, but it looks like that menu inflation is subsiding. In other words, it's not getting any worse. It's not getting any better. His point was um, not really seeing weakness in consumer. On the other hand, some of the drivers say the reason they're participating is because of inflation. Well, look, inflation is still not great at the wage level. It's beginning to creep up again in used cars. I mean, it's like whack-a-mole. It's aluminum. we got to hit that copper shortage. But I would say that the, we're at this moment where people are no longer saying, you know what, I expect my wages to go up 10%. I think they're saying, you know, wages could be peaking here. Not yet. I also find that when you look at, like, say, DuPont, which is up really big, I mean, they've raised price, raise, price, raise, price, and now their raw costs are going down. How long will people tolerate price increases? This is the Costco dilemma. Where Rich Galanti, the CFO, just said, you know, Steve, we're going back to all these companies that raise prices and say, you know what, we see that we see what you're doing. Well, and you're not going to get away with that. That kind of leads us to Chipotle, where transactions were down four uh, and pricing was up 13. The fourth quarter was very tough for them. But the first quarter, they're talking about 10%. Some people say that's because it's lapping an easy Omicron compare. But I believe them when they say that 2023, they're set up to do well. I think you have to think about 2023, not that fourth quarter. And it is indeed, I yes, I hate to use the term because it's so Wall Street, a buying opportunity. Because they've said already that things have started better. They've raised price. And they have co you know, they've accepted the fact that there's a lower end that's not going to come. That's something that Chile said. Mm. I saw I had Hockman on the CEO. He just said, look, the lower end's not coming, but the higher end is spending their darn fool heads off. You talked to Nickel about this last night. Yeah. Take a listen. The resistance to the pricing that we've taken, we've seen very little show up uh, in our business. Obviously, we reset our delivery business throughout the course of 2022. I think we're now at the right economics so that that can be an ongoing proposition. And I thought it was important to get that reset so that it was set up for success going forward. There it is. Now, I, I got to tell you, uh, if you've not used delivery, delivery is really expensive. It's like a tax on your burrito. And I think that what people, the delivery use is down dramatically. Now, some of the analysts were upset about that. They said, well, we thought you were going to be more digitized. But Brian's saying people come to the stores. That's even better. And by the way, I, I, I think that it, between a customer who is digitized and a customer who's on premise, they want this to happen. So I'm um, not that you necessarily want a tax boy. The president did not address the breeder tax. <laughs> That's what he missed. He missed that tax. Um, it's on the rich. You know, yes. If you're wealthy, you have to agree to be taxed you, you, more on your you burrito. Don't eat tortilla chips Higher, if you're wealthy. Higher, higher burrito wealth tax. Actually,